Hi, Amber from ThriveFreezeDriedFood.com, and today we're going to be talking about produce. We're going to be talking about store-bought produce and Thrive freeze-dried produce. So here we have two servings of bananas, and we're going to talk about the banana on the left to begin with. That banana I bought at the grocery store, obviously. I didn't grow it in my own backyard. And so I know that that uh, banana has traveled at least 2,000 miles to get to me, at least. So that banana had to have been picked green. Now why would that be significant? Well, because when I type in banana in my Google search and I want to know the nutrients, that is for a vine ripened banana. And since that banana was not vine ripened, I know it never hit its nutrient potential, ever. And every day that it has been picked and not eaten, it actually is losing its nutrients. So let's talk about the traveling of a banana. Well, it's picked, then it's probably transported. So right there, we're already on day two. Then we go into packaging. That can take two days. Then it has to get transported. And most likely, where most of us live, it has to be transported on a boat. So we're looking at this point that our banana is 12 days old. Then, what usually happens with bananas is, and other produce for that matter, they're put into cold storage. Now, they do that so that it stops it from ripening, right? So it can last longer on the grocery store shelf. And it can be on, in cold storage for another two to three days. Then, a lot of plants will artificially ripen our produce. Um, they use heating and different elements to make the tomatoes or the um, other produce look ripe so it can go into the grocery store. And then it finally gets to the grocery store when it's about 20 days old. And then a lot of times, if you've ever been to a grocery store, they have huge walk-ins in, the, in their back rooms to hold lots of produce that will last them for several days to a week. And so it can sit in their cold storage again for a, a period of time before it's even put out on their shelves. And then you and I will buy it, and then chances are we don't eat it the second we get it home. It will sit on our counter or sit in our fridge for a period of time. So the average piece of produce, by the time we get it in our home and we actually eat it, is actually 25 to 30 days old. So we can just imagine how much nutrients it has lost in that period of time. Now in contrast, we're going to look at our freeze-dried bananas. Those bananas are vine ripened, then they're prepared and flash frozen within two to four hours of it being picked. And that's true of all of our produce. Our produce is all vine ripened, so that means no matter what season of the year it is, our strawberries are always going to be red and delicious. Our peaches are always going to be full of um, flavor and full of nutrients. Um, so after it is prepared and flash frozen, it is freeze dried. Okay, it goes through a process called sublimation where the liquid is uh, taken out of, out of the product through evaporation and then it's put in a can. Now once it's sealed in our cans, then it has a shelf life of 25 years. And that is really, really awesome. But what's even more awesome than the shelf life is the fact that when you eat my bananas, you are looking at 95 to 97% of its nutrients are intact. So that is more than any of the produce uh, bananas you will be able to buy at the grocery store. Now that's not all. I just want to share some of my favorites with you. Let's talk about green beans for a minute, can we? So... Green beans will lose 52% of their vitamin C within two days of being picked. 52%. That is crazy. You will not find that true about Thrive Green Beans because our produce is picked ripe and then flash frozen, locking in 95 to 97% of its nutrients. So that's a lot more than the 52% you're going to get at the grocery store. Let's talk about our spinach for a minute. Oh, my spinach is around the corner, but I'll talk to you about spinach for just a second. Our spinach has six times more vitamin A than store-bought spinach. 
Now, let's be honest. We all go to a big box store and buy a big bag of spinach. You know what I'm talking about? And we think, oh, I'm going to get through that. But we get through a little bit of it. The next thing you know, we stick our hand in it. And what do we find? That black slime that's in the middle of the bag. And we have to throw it out. But the next time we're in that big box store, you better believe we're going to buy that spinach. But you don't have to. Buy thrive spinach. It's awesome in smoothies. I throw it in all of our meals, all the time, so we can have all those nutrients. And again, ours will have six times more vitamin A than the spinach you buy at the store. Now let's talk about blueberries. Our blueberries have 40% more calcium than store-bought blueberries. Crazy, right? And then what about our peaches? Our peaches have 21% more vitamin C than the, than the peaches you'll find at the grocery store. Just keep in mind that when you buy produce at the store, all of the produce has traveled at least two, about 2,000 miles to get to the grocery store on average, which means it was not picked ripe because produce isn't going to last a long time once it's ripe. It, so it wasn't picked ripe, so boom, we knocked off a chunk of our nutrients right there. And then it's traveled long, distant, di long distances. And so we're eating this food that's actually nutritionally dead. But when you choose to eat Thrive, snack on Thrive, cook Thrive, you are picking nutrient-dense food for your family. So hope that was helpful. Subscribe to our channel and have a happy day.